Joel Montalbano, the deputy ISS program manager here in Baikonur. Joel, another Soyuz on the pad, ready to launch another crew. In this case, uh, two Americans launching the addition of a third NASA astronaut on board to start a year of that type of crew complement. How is that going to increase uh, research and uh, solidify all the utilization that you expect over the next year? Okay, well, thank you, Rob. The, uh, the additional astronauts, fantastic. Uh, this expedition will have almost 200 experiments with about 50 of those experiments being new for this crew. And basically what we're doing with the extra crew time is we're doubling the amount of crew hands-on utilization and research. So just one person, we're going to be up to almost 70 hours, 70 crew hours of hands-on research and utilization per week average over the increment. It's just an exciting time to be in the program. How complex is this uh, next six months in orbit going to be for a Kaba, Vanda High, and Mazurkin? Oh, you know, right now with the additional crew member, we continue to hit our stride on space station and doing more and more utilization and research. And the ability to do the science, do the research, get those results to the scientists on ground, it's just fantastic. And, and so we're looking forward to it, and we're just happy to be here. Three weeks from now, uh, the 60th anniversary of the launch of Sputnik from this very launch pad will be marked. A very significant milestone in six decades of human spaceflight that have evolved since the launch of Sputnik. What? Uh, how far have we come? How far can we go? Uh, we, as you know, we've come a long way. The ability to fly six people on space station like we have today is incredible. We see these opportunities that are presented to us and allow us to do the utilization, allow us to do the research, and to keep moving forward. And this is important as we look forward to exploration. You know, eventually space station will end and we'll have to go past the low Earth orbit and go to cis-lunar space. And these days, these times that we've been working on these past 60 years, we're taking steps forward to go make that happen. Sean Fuller, the Director of Human Spaceflight Programs in Russia here in Baikonur. Sean, uh, this is the second Soyuz launch of a crew in just seven weeks. It's pretty remarkable when you think about it. Let's talk a little bit uh, about the pace of activity uh, over the past several months and what uh, clearly will be an incredibly busy uh, end of the year for the program. Yeah, Rob, it's certainly been a busy year, but a great year. We've got uh, three crew members ready to join their uh, crewmates that are on orbit now. Like you said, they launched just seven weeks ago. They've been on orbit doing a lot of research, doing a lot of things to get us ready to explore beyond low Earth orbit. With this addition, the crew will continue that. We've seen a lot of visiting vehicles coming. SpaceX is currently uh, on the space station. It'll be departing here in a couple weeks. It'll be returning back to Earth, returning some of that science to the ground. Uh, shortly after that, we'll have a Progress launching, and um, then we'll have another SpaceX in orbit later this year. The crew's also going to be doing some EVAs uh, starting early next month as we prepare uh, the outside and do some uh, maintenance on the outside of the station. So getting these crew members on orbit to do that, increase our research, we're going to have a fantastic time up there as we continue what started uh, nearly 17 years ago with the human presence on the space station. This is the first time since June of 2010 that two Americans will be launching on a Soyuz. What is the significance of having three NASA astronauts on board and expanded U.S. orbital segment crew presence uh, as you uh, tackle all the tasks ahead? Yeah, it's great to have that expanded U.S. Uh, crew presence on orbit. We've got a lot of research in store for them. Uh, this particular crew, along with their crewmates, will be conducting over 250 different investigations during their time on orbit. That's going to cover the gamut of human research, biotechnology, earth sciences, physical sciences, really cover the spectrum of research that will benefit not only those of us here on the ground, but it's also technology that will be advancing us further into, into the space as we go beyond low Earth orbit. So having that additional research, we'll be able to double our research time on the U.S. segment. And so this is a, really a fantastic step forward as we look ahead to commercial crew when we'll continually have four U.S. OS crew members on orbit. You know, we always talk about uh, this launch pad, its history. We always talk about it in regard to Yuri Gagarin having launched on this pad, but four years before Gagarin was the launch of Sputnik 1 on October 4th, 1957, that started all of this. Uh, your thoughts on the significance of that, how far we as a human race have come in 60 years? Yeah, I think it's pretty spectacular. Like you said, 60 years ago, we took that first uh, small step from here. Today, we have humans living in space. And I like to remind folks that we did start that on a space station 17 years ago. And so there's a whole generation now that their life has been with people living in space. We're now living in space, and we'll start venturing farther uh, beyond. Uh, beyond low Earth orbit, and so we'll, we'll take those next steps just like we did exploring new worlds here on Earth. We're exploring new space in space and, and going farther beyond.